Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze anything because sometimes the hardest part of any analysis task is actually having a roadmap to analyze things. As a data analyst, it's really important that we have a very clear strategic path to getting to the insights and answers we want to get to through analysis. So I'm going to take you through each one of these steps which span between goal, getting to a success and failure, trends, events, audiences, and maybe the need for repetition. So as you see there, there are questions that we need to answer. I'm going to take you through each one of these steps and give you a really sound foundation to analyze anything. So first, we need a goal a specific measurable hypothesis to investigate or test. And the key questions you want to ask at this stage, if you're dealing with your management or you've gotten a request to analyze a data set, you want to know what's the problem we are trying to solve. Now, that is your problem statement. That's your hypothesis. It may not be a problem, but we need to have something that we are working towards, whether it be like, why have sales increased, which is a good problem, or it might be something negative, why have our sales fallen? So I wrote down some key questions, and we just covered one. We also want to know what assumptions or beliefs do you have about the problem that we're trying to solve? Now, this might be a question that you pose to management, and they may give you some domain knowledge that may help make your analysis more effective. And then we also want to know what data do we need to collect to test the hypothesis or solve the problem at this stage. So let's move over to our second step. The second step in our analysis is to understand what our analysis failure or success would look like. So we want to be able to define what criteria that we are using to measure whether this was successful or not. So the key questions that you can ask your management or whoever has tasked you with this analysis is, how will you measure whether your analysis was successful? And what would make this analysis successful or a failure? This will help you to hone in what you actually need to be doing throughout the analysis. Whether that is, we want to be able to know which one of our advertising creatives drove the most people to our website, as opposed to something general. Let's move on to the third step. Trends. You want to be able to identify the significant actual trends or correlations or patterns or outliers in your data. And this is also a discussion you should have with your management. You should ask them what trends are important to see. For example, they may want to see sales or what impacted sales each week as opposed to a daily breakdown. Also, you want to know what patterns or correlations are most important for achieving your analysis. And often you can talk to your management or stakeholders that will say, we want to know how our sales is correlated with the stock market. These are all ways to make sure that when you give your final presentation, you're able to deliver what they're looking for. So the fourth step is events. So we want to know key variables or events that may have influenced those previous trends. For example, there may have been a market crash or we may have had a sales event that changed the essence of those trends. And this stops you from having to do so much exploratory data analysis when you have the events that you know that they want correlated with some of those trends. Our fifth step, which is super important, you want to make sure you're tailoring your analysis or your insights or 
your outcomes to the audience that is going to be receiving them. If you're giving a presentation to a bunch of statisticians, we know that we can leverage some of our math and formulas to make sure they have a firm understanding and also something they're interested in. If we're giving a presentation to a bunch of salespeople, we need to make sure that we are showing what has correlated with sales and things that they may find valuable. And you also need to make sure that you are understanding how to deliver these results, whether it be visual or through an email or through a detailed report. And I can tell you, this is one of the most important steps because I've been tasked with writing big reports. And also, you might be sending this to a very important executive and they just want one PowerPoint slide. So know your audience. And the final step, rinse and repeat. You may have to continually go back to the previous steps and understand whether your analysis is being effective or not. So some key questions you can ask yourself during your analysis, what new data or trends have emerged during this analysis that you may have to deal with? Do you need to revisit the initial hypo hypothesis or revise it? Or we may need to go back and revise our goals or even the last step which we may get a wider audience that we may need to make sure our analysis is generalized. So let's review what we've covered. We know we need to know what's the goal of our analysis and be able to formulate assumptions and we're gonna set really clear goals and objectives to our analysis. Next, we wanna be able to define what is considered success or a failure. This gives us a map of our analysis. So we define the criteria that is going to set those clear goals and pathways and objectives to our analysis. Then we want to understand what are the trends. This is going to allow us to find actionable patterns and identify any significant or correlations or outliers that may be important to our business. That leads to us knowing what events drove those trends. And that's going to allow us to look for those key variables in our data. Then we want to make sure we understand the audience that we're delivering our insights or results to and tailor our communication so that the audience knows and understands the language and examples that are relevant to them. And then last we may have to continually go through this process and understand where we may need to go back and revise our hypothesis, goals, trends, or events, depending on what new data emerges or what new insights we may fi find through our analysis. So I hope that like, gives you kind of a good way to analyze anything and make your analysis direct. Please leave any questions or comments in the section below. Thank you.